rage on that beat going crazy. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jason with JW Classic VW, and we're back, and I got a lot of updates for you, so I'm going to turn you around real quick to kind of show you what's going on. It's, uh, you know, a little bit of update on the 40 horsepower build, plus got a little bit extra update on what's coming soon with Goose's new power plan. So stay tuned, guys. After this intro, getting right into the content. See you in a second. All right, all right, all right. I got all kinds of stuff going on over here, guys. I'll bring you over to the heads first to kind of give you an update on what's going on there. The valve guides are going to be replaced. I'm going to be installing a different type of valve guide. The stock ones are this type of valve guide on the intake. I'll bring you in a little closer so you can see. And there's no ledge. There's no seat on it. Good morning, rooster. And what I mean by ledge or seat, let's see if we can look at this head. Yeah, right here. There's like a seat. A ledge here that helps out with uh, the way that it sits in. So I'm ordering new valve guides to have that done. Plus, I'm ordering oversized valve guides because I'm going to go ahead and have my machinist here go ahead and redo the seats on the valve seats. I ran into an issue with, let's see, with uh, one of my valves. I don't know if it was that one. But uh, there's some pretty good pitting on the seat of the valve. And so I'm going to go ahead and have uh, all my intake valves replaced. And then also, uh, well, my exhaust were not bad, so I'm not worried about those. I'm just going to go ahead and relap my exhaust valves. Let's show you guys. The exhaust valves are in pretty good shape, so I'm going to go ahead and just re relap those. And we should be good. But I'm going to go ahead and have the seats reconditioned because definitely had some issues on the... Uh, the valve seats. And right here you can kind of see. I don't know if this is the one. No, that's not the one. Oh, it's over here. This valve seat. Yeah, you can see. Got some pretty good pitting on that valve seat. So we're going to go ahead and have it reconditioned. Another thing you'll notice that uh, I finished the porting on all the heads. So, oh, rooster, you are not my friend. <laughs> so all, all the porting is good to go. So we're just going to have the the valve guides replaced, have the seats refinished, and that might take a little bit of time. But what we're going to be doing in the meantime, uh, <laughs> what we're going to be doing in the meantime is working on the fuel system. What I've got here is some of that nickel copper uh, fuel line, which helps out with uh, the bending. It makes it a little bit easier to work with than the stainless steel. So what we got here is a bracket that's going to hold the new fuel filter that I'm installing. 
the uh, new fuel filter has uh, dash six and in fittings on each end, so that's super cool. I also ordered my fuel uh, fuel pump made for EFI from CB Performance. It's on its way. Also, my T for my fuel tank to be able to have an inlet and an outlet on the, the fuel tank because we're running two lines, guys. With EFI, we're going to be doing a, a loop-type system where uh, it's got a feed and a return. So that's coming very soon. Also going to be showing you guys how to do some cool fittings. Got uh, special fittings here to be able to do the fuel line. And then uh, also, if you guys are interested in a keychain, the Atomworks guys over there, Charles, sent me a couple keychains. So if you would like a keychain, comment below and we'll do a little drawing for a keychain. Cool stuff, guys. Oh, God. friend's uh, <laughs> awesome garage. I call him the mad scientist, but his name is uh, Wayne, or sometimes called Daryl Howard, and I want to kind of show you guys what he's got going on in here. Pretty outstanding, pretty amazing. Also, the same guy that I'm getting the engine, the new engine for Goose from. So, let's take a look. You gotta know, it's a Volkswagen guy, when uh, he's got VW stuff all over the place. Look at this, guys. building a beast. This is going to be 600 plus horsepower at the wheels. See, it's got it all tubbed out back here. Pretty awesome. All kinds of custom work going on. On the back side for his IRS suspension that's going in here. He's going with strange wheels and brakes. Oh yeah. I think it's a 54. 54 rag top. All kinds of one-off custom work going on here, guys. And you know he's a uh, he's truly in love with his wife because she gets to have all the buses. <laughs> oh. Not just a Volkswagen guy. And all my Subaru conversion fanatics out there, this bus has actually got a Subaru engine in it. Got that camper pop top. And look at this beauty over here. Where's all my 60s guys at? Gorgeous. I believe that this uh, is for his father-in-law. They've been working on it together. And it is also a lot of beautiful work going on here. Love that blue. And the matching blue door cards. Very pretty. Yeah, it makes me jealous, man. Check out this garage. Got two lifts in here. Two bays, two big bay doors to the front. Yeah, that's that's all I would need. Just put like a little loft up here somewhere, and you'd be good to go. Behind this magic door right here, guys, is the CNC workshop where all kinds of one-off custom work happens. All right, guys, that's a quick look at the shop. <laughs> it's pretty fantastic, pretty awesome stuff going on here. The um... <laughs> compressor gonna get you. <laughs> more to come, more info coming soon. 
maybe a little bit more, uh, maybe do an interview, something like that with Daryl. Talk to you guys about some of the special stuff he has coming. We're gonna be featuring some of his turbo stuff on the channel at some point too, so you guys can kind of see what's going on because all of the stuff that's going into the engine that I'm putting into Goose is all custom one-off, but he's putting together kits for you guys. So pretty awesome, pretty cool. Coming soon, guys. Uh, see you in a second. So we've re received special approval to go ahead and show you some of this awesome stuff he's got going on behind the door here in the CNC shop and show you some of the stuff he's doing with the turbo stuff. All right, guys, so let's go take a look. Hey, how many of you guys got a CNC machine hanging out inside of your uh, garage? <laughs> Definitely been some work going on in here. So I want to show you guys some of the custom throttle bodies he has going on. Plus, he's coming up with a turbo kit that actually work with the fan shroud housing that you have. Or it's going to incorporate a fan shroud housing with an intercooler. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, man. That's actually going to work with a uh, fan shrouding. It's pretty sweet. And look at this beefy transmission he's got for the 600 horsepower monster he's going to be building. All kinds of blocks of aluminum. Just a taste, guys. Just a taste. This looks familiar, maybe, to some of you guys. Pretty cool. Don't want to give away too much awesomeness of what's going on behind here because some of it's top secret. <laughs> so guys, talk to you in a second when I get back to the garage with Goose. Guys, we are back at the garage. That is going to do it for today. A little bit of hanging out with Wayne and showing you the engine that it's about to be transforming the way that Goose handles and, uh, you know, the power that's in there. Uh, speed out power. We're going to talk about that more in upcoming videos. First off, we got to pull out the general, my transmission. And oh, yeah, guys, by the way, those are for sale. So if you're interested in picking up uh, a 2276 and or a transmission, let me know. Hit me up in the comments below or hit me up in the Facebook group. I am me and we can talk about that. Sound good? So we're gonna have to go ahead and send off those 40 horsepower heads, get those fixed up before we can get back to the build on the 40 horsepower. That's gonna be coming soon. Uh, what we're we gonna do in the next video, hmm, I don't know. Uh, I have been draining my gas tank, so we're probably gonna start some fuel line system stuff. You see that fuel line in the back back there? We gotta do an install. I'm getting those hard lines from the back side to the front side, but 
Engine's got to come out. Transmission's got to come out. Lots coming, guys. So stay tuned. See you guys in the next one. This is Jason from JW Classic VW, and I'm out. <laughs>